You are in control of your 86,400 seconds a day, and what you choose to do with those is completely entirely up to you. What is going on, my good people? Welcome back to The Morning Takeaway. Another episode today, I want to talk about something that's super close to me that you know, I kind of put together a long time ago in my baseball career, and it's something, you know, that I want to touch on that applies to everyone, and I might say something that might irritate some people, but such is life, right? So before we get going, if you take something away from this podcast, this episode, anything else that I say, if there's something that resonates with you and you feel like somebody else could take something away from that and apply that to their life or mental health or daily practice, whatever it is that you feel like may help someone else, the best way you can help me is by helping them. And I think in our world, the world we live in that is filled with such negativity and a lot of you know things that we hear on the news and whatever might be going on in today's world, one little blip of positivity can always lighten somebody's day. And even if it's just, just a smile, just send, send somebody a selfie with a smile and get excited for them, right? So that being said, I kind of want to jump into today's topic that actually has nothing to do with positivity. I guess it could be if you, uh, if you choose to choose positivity in the 86,400 seconds that you were given each and every single day. Today. Day. Anyways, so... What I want to talk about is that topic, right? You get 86,400 seconds a day. And I think long ago when I really, like, I was just doing some math and realized, like, hey, we, this is how many seconds we have in a day. It really just resonated with me that if you take something like a day and go to the most minuscule level and minimal level of what that day actually is, which for us is seconds. Yeah, you go to milliseconds, that's a lot of milliseconds to say. But if you really peel those layers back and get into that from a very minute standpoint, you begin to see things in a different perspective, right? We, we think of one day. Well, some, that might sound really long for some people. It might sound really short. But then you start talking about hours. Then we start talking about minutes. Then we start talking about seconds. And I say this resonates with me because of my baseball career. And in, in baseball, every pitch is a different situation, and, and so is life. Every little thing that you are dealt is a new situation, and how you are going to react to it and deal with it and take whatever perspective, approach, attitude you want towards that to essentially make your life what you want it to be. And I think that's the main point that I want to drive home with this topic is that you are in control of your 86,400 seconds a day and what you choose to do with those is completely entirely up to you. And and this is where I think it might might trigger some people, it might, you know, whatever it might be, but I think it's an important conversation to have. And I have it written right here on the board. It says no excuses. And when I say you're in control of your life, one of the most common things that I hear from people is I don't have enough time. I don't have the equipment. I don't have whatever it might be. I might not be able to do it. I don't know how to do it the best way. Well, on that topic, the best way doesn't really matter as long as you're doing something right. And you know, I, I I don't need a personal trainer to get started. I, and this is diving into a completely different topic, but you know, I like just moving your body, like you, you have the means to do that. And I think, I think the biggest one is probably the time factor and, oh, I'm working. I am, have such a busy schedule. I have a family, this, that, and the other. And I respect that. And I understand that. And it's, it's normal. And trust me, it's easy for me to say when I don't have a family and I don't have, you know, those things going on, but I do, I do work and I do, it's all self-motivated. It's all self discipline oriented, right? And, but for those of you that do have the job and the family and these things, I think it's important to know that excuses are really just fake. They're all of these just made up stories in our head that we choose to want to believe so that it feels better for us to say, Hey, we can't do something because of this. And then it lays that safety blanket for us to say, Hey, I don't have to get up and do that. And I think that's where, you know, like, 
I, I, I hate to use myself in, as, as an example, but really those, if, if something is important to you, you will make time. I, I was up the other day. I, I knew I had to get up and I, I, you know, I, I do my 10,000 steps every single day, and I know that I have to do that. I, I was traveling in the car to San Diego, um, had to be there at 7 a.m., and I was going to be on a boat the rest of the day. I didn't know if I was going to get my 10,000 steps in. So what did I do? I woke up at 4 a.m. on a Saturday morning and ran. I ran four miles, make sure I knocked out about 7,000, 8,000 of those steps because it's important to me. And that night, I got three hours and 58 minutes of sleep, and... I hate to break it to you, but sometimes you got to make sacrifices. And that's a whole other topic that I'd love to dive into another day. But like, if you use a different word than sacrifice, and maybe you say invest, it's an investment that I'm making in myself because I care about myself and I care about the values and the standards that I hold myself to. Instead of saying, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm sacrificing sleep, well, I'm investing the time into myself to make myself better. And, you know, like, like I said, there is different avenues that we could explore right here that are definitely very controversial and people do have a lot going on. People are working three jobs. They're working, you know, endless hours to take care of their families. And I respect that. But if there is something else that you're working towards, like let's say your fitness goals or your mental clarity or whatever it is, if that is truly important to you and you have three jobs and you feel like you can't take care of yourself, well, maybe that is where we say, Hey, like let's dial it back and let's do something for yourself. And that could be a 10 minute walk. If you don't have 10 minutes in your day to set aside, I, I would, I would argue that strongly for everybody. If there's not 10 minutes that you could take to stretch or whatever it may be, go on a little walk and just take 10 minutes to yourself to think in your own head, put everything away and really come back to your center and what, like what drives you. So and I know I'm kind of coming at you right now, but and I'm not telling you how to leave, live your life, and I never will, but I just have a strong passion for the idea that if something is important for, to you, you will make time, right? And I, I, I really believe that these stories and these excuses that come into play in our head are really just made up stories and they are there, you know, there's, there are legitimate excuses, you know, if there's an unfortunate death in the family or a serious illness, somebody's having a bit like there are real life scenarios that are happening. But when you say I can't wake up, like sleep, sleep is the number one. And you know, we, you, yeah, you should get eight, six to eight hours of sleep, whatever, but we can function. In fact, most people When they wake up on that three to four hours of sleep, they have a little bit more adrenaline during that day. Why? Because there's all kinds of research that can go into that in scientific areas that I could explore, but you do. The the fact of the matter is you have more adrenaline throughout the day because you're like, oh, like your, your body's not used to it. It's a little in shock. But that excuse and reason for not getting going on what you may want to accomplish is something that I think you, you can easily, not easily, I shouldn't say easy, but you can overcome that by simply deciding to start and setting your environment up for success. Lay your shoes and your clothes out for the morning that you know you're going to go on a walk or whatever it may be and putting yourself in the right frame of mind with that environment to line up to where you know that you can take care of yourself first and really get rid of these emotions or the excuses and what starts to happen is you start to accomplish one thing you start to accomplish the next and you say hey wow I really can do this I really those excuses were really taking me over and now you're starting to build confidence with yourself now you're starting to say hey I feel really good when I do this and how do I continue it well you just you just keep going you ride the momentum you're creating that momentum with yourself and now you're creating a sense of accountability with yourself to say, Hey, I want to feel that way again. And you start rewarding yourself with that feeling. And I think once you can kind of take that and say, Hey, I've got 86,400 seconds and what am I going to do with it to make it the best possible one second at a time and make my life what it is. I think you, you can become an unstoppable force. And, you know, with that said, with the 86,400, there's, there's this idea that, you know, one second turns into one minute 
And if we're doing something really bad for one second and we're contemplating or we're, you know, in the wrong frame of mind, that one second turns into a minute. Like I, I've been there. We've all been there in that those moments where everything just feels like, like one bad thing happens after the next, right? Well, we're choosing to direct our energy in that second to those bad things. And then it starts to turn into a minute. Then the minute starts turning into five minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. Hours start to, start to turn into minutes or <laughs> minutes. They start to turn into hours and they start to turn into days and they start into months and years. And this is where we see the buildup of decline in mental health, decline in physical health, decline in our relationships, our friendships. And if we can rewire that and channel those one second, turning it into a minute, into an hour, into a day, into a month, into a year with good things, I think you'll, you'll see a crazy difference. And I, I'm a firm believer in that. I love it. I, I just eat it up when I, I think of accepting these positive thoughts and these, uh, these, these practices that will help you. And it, it, it kind of, it fires me up to see these comments and you guys engaging and saying, you know, I, you know, that you are applying these principles, right? And I get mess- messages on Instagram about the podcast and that really does fire me up. So keep them coming. But, uh, you know, and it, it, I challenge you this week, whenever, after you hear this to take 10 minutes, take whatever it is and turn those seconds into longer periods of time and, and see where you go, see how you can feel and, and smile through it. So with that said, let's, uh, let's end and end this thing, wrap it up with, uh, the generating the random question. Let's see what we get today. Random question. What's the last thing that you broke and how did it happen? Wow. Actually, it's this chair that I'm sitting in and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I really need some WD-40 and I'm going to give it a little sample. I don't know if you can hear it course not but it's really annoying and when I sit here and work all day it's like now it's not gonna squeak maybe I fix it but how did I do it I just sit in it every day and well that was a really boring to wrap boring question to wrap this thing up with but uh with that said I hope you take something away again if you if you did take something away and you felt inspired by something maybe motivated or you think somebody else could take something away from it you know I would strongly appreciate it because my, my main goal is to help one person. One person a day, that's all I want to do. And if I can do that, then, then I'm fulfilled. And I hope you can do the same. I hope you can bring a smile to somebody's face today. And that said, have an awesome day and don't forget to smile.